Hello guys, it's me Birdie again, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use a Unix shell through command line interface on Windows. So we'll go to start, we'll hit run, CMD, hit OK. Here is our command line window. We'll type in telnet. Telnet is the application that we use to connect to the server. Then we type in the server, which in my case is sdf.lonestar.org. Hit enter. Wait for it to connect. I'll type in my login. And if you want, you can uh, make a new login by typing in new if you wanted. So please press backspace. There we go. At this part, hit enter. And here we go. We now have Unix command shell at our fingertips. We can do whatever we want with it. And hold on as I align this real quick. Okay, so to figure out what Unix commands are available to us, we'll type in Unix. Easy enough. And <coughs> these are all of the commands that the server allows us to use. So now that we know the commands, we can type in some simple commands like ping and then the name of the server which would be birdieobrien.com which is just my server for my website. There we go, it tells us the IP address and how much millisecond ping there is. And usually it doesn't act slow like this. Sometimes it's just a bad connection to the server. Let's just uh, try that again with a different website. We'll ping google.com. And there we go, we're pinging it with 64 bits of data. So now we can do something like who is, and we can do google.com. Now who is basically tells you all the information about who the website was registered and how it was registered. So see, um, registering Google Inc. shows all their contact info and all that stuff. So, um, those are two of the most basic commands for Unix that you can use. Um, I don't think there's really any other commands that are that easy to use for the normal user except for another one called edit so we can go down here and type in edit test dot txt and uh, if you look down here hold on there's a text file we're editing now and uh, let's uh, bring this down we can just edit it like a regular text file Then we can quit it by hitting Q, which doesn't work if you're in a text editing application, I just realized. So we have to hit, um, oh shoot, you know what, I forgot what it is, so we'll check down here. Aha, it's Control X. There we go, we wrote one line. Still there. Okay, so now we're out of that. Now, to exit the shell, we just type in exit. And there we go. We've exited it. Our telnet section. Connection to host lost is what Windows is going to tell us. So we'll hit Control C. And then we'll just close the window. And uh, that was my uh, telnet video on uh, how telnet works and uh, how you use it.